Standing here in front of our uh, brand new truck that we're getting, uh, we're very excited to get it. It's our first Impel cab that we've gone with. We've been a Quantum customer for uh, probably over 20 years now, and this is the first time we've gone down to an Impel. Uh, this truck's going to a staffed engine house uh, that we're actually staffing come the first of the year. So we're pretty excited to get it home, get it uh, in service, and start using it. Uh, we've dropped engine sizes. Uh, we uh, test drove a whole bunch of trucks in the area that had uh, the smaller engines. We've been a Detroit engine person for years again, uh, and now we've gone back to a, a Cummins 450 horse engine. So uh, we're super excited to try to get it going and uh, start using it. So uh, nothing crazy fancy in the truck. Um, it's kind of a neat color scheme. Our last truck we bought was a 2014. We painted it black over red. Uh, our school colors uh, for our high school are black and red, so we've uh, kind of gone with a school color theme uh, and carried that on throughout the entire truck. Uh, one thing that's kind of unique, and we don't see a lot of them up here, and our chief even asked us before we came up here if we saw a lot of top mount truck uh, pumps. Uh, it's kind of a thing you don't see very often, um, but we thoroughly enjoy it. It kind of gives us an overall perspective of the scene and uh, view of the scene. Um, the only downfall is it's a lot of up and down, but having that you know, up pump operator at the top of the truck, he's able to see both sides of the truck. You, know, you're not have any, you don't have any obscured vision, um, and it makes a, a lot more effective uh, scene operation. The other thing we kind of changed on this truck, we've been a two-stage pump uh, family for uh, since the inception of them, I guess. Uh, but with all the new technology and stuff, we've gone to a, a single-stage pump, and we, uh, we're hope hoping that uh, serves us well as serves us good as well. <clears throat> Moving to the, the compartments again, uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, engineer's compartment. We used to have the slide-out tool boards. Uh, after getting the slide-out tool boards, we realized that it kind of limited us on how we mounted our tools. Uh, so we switched just to a regular tray uh, and the pegboard to get the uh, tools mounted. And on our last truck, we also uh, was the first truck we went back to the whole bifold and lap doors. Uh, our other truck, we had the door that kind of lifted straight up to the top of the truck. Uh, we have some short guys. They didn't like having to jump to close the door. Uh, so we switched to the two bifold doors to, to make it easier for the firefighter. Uh, and it is easier when you're parked on the side of the road. You don't have to reach up as high. The doors are right there for you. Yeah, nothing, nothing crazy as we move around. Uh, Kind of the back of the truck here, our in union, their strength. Uh, the U is the symbol for our high school. Again, we've carried that theme kind of throughout the truck with the black and red chevron on the back. Uh, that's actually their school colors. We had to get permission from the school to use it. So it's kind of a cool thing that, you know, within the union uh, community that we have so much strength for our community. So we've kind of carried that in, in throughout it. Um, keep moving around here. Again, in all of the compartments uh, that we could, we kind of went with slide-out trays and drawers uh, just for the ease of it. We went with larger lipped uh, drawers, too, to keep you know, our equipment from sliding around, sliding out, and banging into the doors. Uh, the other truck, we didn't have that, and the tools slid around a whole bunch and made it harder to, to use and more damage to the truck. Uh, one other new thing that, you know, I know a lot of people have SCBA doors, but we've come to find that this type of a latch is much easier on the uh, operator stance of it. So it's a little D-handle latch. The latch recesses back into itself. So when you open up another door, the latch does not hit the door. So it's a very nice, clean, uh, you don't end up with nicks in the other door and stuff. Plus, it's easy, close, it's automatically shut, tight. You don't have to worry about a push and turn, lift, or any of that stuff. It's pretty much a single operation uh, handle. So we found it on our last truck. It was kind of hard to track down to get on this one, but we got it on this one to make it better. So the other thing we kind of changed the way our, our speed lays are set up. Uh, we used to have a three stack speed lay. Now we've gone to the trays uh, and a two stack speed lay. 
Uh, so it works a lot easier uh, having the plastic or the uh, I guess the plastic hose trays. It's going to be easier to reload hose, quicker to reload hose, uh, quicker to get the truck back into service. One other different thing we did on this truck, uh, we did the metal uh, raised plating to mount tools with. Uh, we also went with uh, USB ports and all that uh, in the cab to where we don't have to one do it ourselves when we get back to the firehouse or back home with the truck. It's already all wired up, ready to go here uh, for iPads, you know, computers, whatever we have. And that's about all the crazy cool features of our truck. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and we hope to have it home here soon.